Typically, when a corporation launches itself with great fanfare and conspicuous self-importance, they construct a massive logo of themselves and put it up atop the highest building they can find. They want the world to see what they can do, but not touch what they do. But from the start, Global Live and the Wynn brand have been different. We saw ourselves more as of a conversation rather than a corporation. As far as we know, we are the first wireless company in Canada to actually ask Canadians about the good, the bad, and the ugly in their wireless experiences. And everyone you see here today answered that call. Using Wireless Soapbox and then the windmobile.ca community, we asked for feedback. What works? What doesn't? What you wanted, your must-haves, your I never want to see that again. We listened to you and actively encouraged and facilitated the exchange of ideas. And then we did something really novel. We actually listened to all that feedback and acted on it. We built our policies, our plans, and our products around the very things that our future customers ask for. Ideas like not locking people into contracts, done. Or charging them fees, <laughs> or charging them fees for things that don't actually cost us any money, never. Or treating prepaid customers with the same dignity as postpaid customers, absolutely. So today I want to start by thanking all the tens of thousands of Canadians who are not here but took time out of their busy schedules to provide their input. Your ideas, and I hope some of you are in Florida. <laughs> Your ideas and encouragement through our effort to bring Canada its first legitimate choice in wireless in 10 years has been amazing. That we are launching today is as much a testament to your passion as ours. And we at Win Mobile want to say thank you. Good morning, everybody. Well, we believe in uh, a big thank yous. Thank you to everyone who's been involved in creating this company from employees to partners and to, very importantly, our community me members and our potential customers. We believe in a big idea that respect and collaboration with customers in a conversation can only make things better. And so today, let WIND commemorate the true inventors, true innovators of the day, the real architects of change, the Tammies, the Blade, the Animal, all of our online friends, crazy Chinese driver, <laughs> and every customer upon whose ideas and enthusiastic participation in the company has contributed. So what makes us different? We're your company, the one you helped build. So Canada, this is a tribute to a better way to do wireless in this, com in this country. other Canadians who rose up against an unresponsive mobile industry. It was upon the immortal thoughts of this online community who made proclamations like, no contracts, do this and I will be your customer forever. And it would be nice not to have limits, that a movement was born. Their 
brave ideas gave rise to the dialogue which gave rise to WinMobile, the first wireless company to be led by the people and a testament to the truth that conversations always make things better. Because of you, we've made a few rules. No system access fees. No 911 fees. No activation fees. No charge for incoming texts. No charge for incoming long distance. I don't even know No difference between plans for postpaid and prepaid. We like all customers. And I think the most popular, no contracts. Our customers are with us because they want to, not because they have to. Does that sound good? So this statue is one of 18 that will travel to our launch cities to celebrate the people that helped build this company, our customers. It's a reminder that we are different, that we'll treat you different. We'll ask for your input, and we'll constantly make changes so that you feel proud to declare you're a satisfied wireless customer in Canada. That's something that's been a long time coming and a long time ignored. The big three have set the bar low, and we're going to do everything possible to raise your expectations and give you what you deserve. It's December 16th, 2009. Welcome to a game-changing day. Welcome to the first day of Win Mobile. We're good. Welcome everyone to the first Win Mobile store. The statue outside is a tribute to the tens of thousands of Canadians that helped build our company, with all of their input. Now I'd like to turn it over to Ken and Chris to talk to you about all the prices, po policies, and plans and products we have to make Canada a, 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 for the first new wireless company in Canada. Ken. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome um, to the uh, Wind Mobile kiosk. We have 18 locations throughout uh, Greater Toronto. 13 of those are in Blockbuster locations and uh, five of our own stores. They're all staffed with our own, uh, with our own people. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about our propositions this morning. Um, the central point of all of our stores is this, uh, this table, something we call the harvest table. And uh, the idea of this retail experience is to really open up a store to a more active conversation with consumers. And this is obviously something that, that we've been talking about from day one. In our own stores, uh, which I'd encourage you to visit, we have also installed Microsoft Surface, which is a very new technology that allows customers to actually play with it and uh, to take terminals and handsets, put them on the, on the Surface, to be able to look at the functionality of the phones, compare phones, and look at price plans. So we don't have it in this uh, kiosk model, but it's also, it is in our own stores, and it's something that's very innovative for the retail experience and really encourages a dialogue uh, with customers. Um, everything that we've done, uh, and Chris Robbins, our CCO, is going to talk about uh, the price plans in a minute, is about simplicity, trying to make that experience very simple and very manageable for the customer. It's about dialogue, so ensuring that we con con consistently and continuously get feedback from customer. Control, so uh, one of the things I mentioned outside is uh, the prepaid customers will have the same value as postpaid, and you're going to find that in the functionality of our, of our systems. And of course, value, and the value we'll talk about on our price plans, but I think you'll find that they're, they're, very, they're very interesting and uh, certainly very attractive for consumers. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit about uh, how we built this company. One of the things that we discovered as we went out and we talked to consumers is that there are key points of frustration in every element of the customer experience. From the time you walk into the store, to the first time you receive your bill, to perhaps the first time you call the call center, customers have points of frustration, points which frankly cause them to want to change. And so, what we've done is we've taken apart a phone company and we've built it from the ground up. And we've said, how can we make the activation process simpler? How can we make that billing uh, simpler and, and, and a much 
much better experience. And how can, of course, how can we build a call center or a customer operations that is much better? So those are the things that we focused on from day one. It it's really is the basics, but really Canadian consumers have been asking us to get the basics right. I'll talk to you a little bit about the handsets. Okay, we've got, uh, we're launching with four terminals. First of all, the BlackBerry device, the 9700. One element of our pricing that's very important to understand, this, this is priced at $450, okay? So the way we've approached pricing, I'll just mention that for a second, is we're getting consu consumers have a lot more flexibility and control. They can actually buy the handset. They own the handset. There's no contract, it's theirs. We're gonna build incredible value into the tariff plans themselves, okay? So we're selling these at cost to consumers. So the BlackBerry 9700 is, our, is uh, one of our key terminals. We have the HTC Maple, which is priced at $300. We have the Samsung Gravity 2 at uh, $150. We also have um, sorry. We also have a, a Huawei uh, uh, 7519, which is priced at $130. Um, in addition, the network we have built here uh, in Toronto and across Canada is an all IP network. And this is this is something that I don't think has been done before in Canada. A lot of them, a lot of networks have have the old technology. It's an all IP network, HSPA plus. So uh, customers are going to be able to surf the net. So we've got uh, the Huawei data stick, priced at $150. You can use that uh, to plug into your laptop or plug into your desktop um, and, and, and surf the net from wherever, wherever you might be. Okay, so a lot of flexibility there. Uh, let, me, uh, let me turn over right now. Uh, oh, I should mention coverage. Um, in Toronto, we're covering from uh, all the way uh, down to Stony Creek all the way up all over, over to Oshawa and north to Richmond Hill. Okay? The home zone is a very important element of our coverage area because uh, when Chris talks about price plans, he'll explain what the home zones mean. But that's, that's effectively where we try to focus on our initial coverage on where uh, customers live and where they work. Okay? Now we'll be expanding that over time. Uh, as, as, we've, as has been announced, we're going to be launching in Calgary in a couple of days' time. We also have networks in Ottawa that are very close to coming online and in Edmonton that are close to coming online and in Vancouver. Okay? The coverage will continue to expand over the years, down through southern Ontario, down into the, uh, uh, into the, the uh, uh, to Victoria and the southern part of British Columbia as well. Um, as well, we plan to cover all of the other provinces over the next, uh, over the next couple of years. We are a national operator, and clearly our intent is to deploy this network everywhere. Now, I'd, I'd like to introduce uh, Chris Robbins. Chris is our uh, Chief Customer Officer, and uh, he's going to walk you through the tariff plans. And, and I think it's important just to, uh, if I can go back, to think about the, some of the principles. Simplicity, value, and, and control. Chris. Cool. Thank you. Good morning. We need a bigger store, <laughs> for sure. Excellent. Um, so good morning to you guys, good morning to the community and our employees who are listening from the atrium. It's kind of cool. Um, so Ken and uh, Tony talked a lot about the four pillars for our company. So value, control, simplicity, and dialogue. We started off this morning talking about dialogue. So that was the conversation we had with customers. That's the cornerstone, cornerstone of us as a company. The price plans get into more of the value, the simplicity, the control. Nothing about mobile pricing in Canada is about value, simplicity, or control. So we're here to change that. And when you talk about value, if you look at the price points, and we'll go through this, but when you look at the price points, they're not revolutionary price points. Every price point in the market is already out there. So when we looked at it and said, what, what price points do we want in the market? It was really about what's the value we're providing with those price points. So it wasn't so much about the individual price, it's the value we're providing with them. Now value comes down to what's included and what's not included. Okay, so we'll start off with, first of all, what's not included. We don't have any system access fees, we don't have any 911 fees, and we don't have any activation fees. That's not a promotion. We'll never have those. Okay? Pretty standard starting to get there in the market. People are changing that now. I'd like to think we had a little bit of something to do with that, but starting to change. Um, next couple of things. We don't have charges for incoming SMS, incoming texts, so it's free. We don't have charges for incoming long distance. So some of the incumbents today, It'll be 35 cents to receive a long distance call. There's nothing about value or control in that. So all of our plans, none of them have 
incoming tax or incoming LD charges. A couple other things, what, what we don't have. We don't have another tariff card that says prepaid on top of it with different prices. We have prepaid customers and we'll have postpaid customers. They all have the same tariffs. So we're not going to discriminate, uh, discriminate against customers because they want to pay us cash in advance. We like all customers to pay us. It's good. Um, the other thing we don't have, and Ken and Tony talked about this a little bit, is contracts. And really the, what Ken said this morning is really, really key. This isn't about customers coming and going. We want to keep every single customer that joins us. This is about customers being with us because they want to, not because they have to. We're not locking them into contracts. Okay? So those are the things we don't have. I'll take you through the things that we do have. So all three of the plans, we've got win-to-win -win calling across Canada included. So what that means is if you're in Toronto and you're calling your friend who's on a wind mobile phone in Calgary, it's a free call. If you're calling from Vancouver to Edmonton, it's a free call. All win-to-win -win network calls are included on all plans, including the $15 plan. Okay? Um, when we start talking about uh, call, uh, call control, so a lot of incumbents charge $10, $15, for things like caller line ID, just a staple all over the rest of the world, call forwarding, uh, missed call alert, those things, those are included in all of our plans, including the $15 plan across the board. Just those two things alone in this market are worth about $20 to $25. We're including them free in all of our plans, just because it makes sense. It's simple. People understand that. When we start getting into the home zones that uh, Ken was talking about, so in any of the areas that we cover, so Ken talked to you about the coverage areas, it's unlimited calling. Now, one of the things that is incredibly expensive in Canada is mobile long distance. And it's complex. Nobody can understand it. So when we talk about value and simplicity, mobile long distance in Canada today doesn't make any sense. So we decided to get rid of it. So on our main plan, on our um, All We Show plan, we've essentially made every call in Canada a local call. There is no more LD. For the $35 plan and the $15 plan, the local area is essentially the province you're in. So if you're calling from Toronto and you're calling it to Barry, it's a local call on those two plans. So Canada-wide in the $45 plans, the $15 and the $35 plans, it's provincial-wide calling. Um, we talked about uh, voicemail. So on the $45 plan, the show plan, voicemail is included. If you want voicemail on the other plans, it's $5. That's about half of what it is with the incumbents. Text. So I read some of the, the feedback, the initial feedback of the leaked plans, which was interesting. Um, and there was some questions about the text. When we talked to customers, we found a big group of customers that actually wanted just unlimited voice. So we're providing unlimited voice, again, wind to wind calling across the country, domestic roaming, province-wide local calling. We're providing that at $35 for customers. Now, if the customer wants to have unlimited, uh, unlimited text as well, we have that bundle for $5. So if a customer just wants to text and doesn't talk that much, you can take the $15 plan, $5 bundle for $20. He's got unlimited text across North America, actually. If he's on the $35 plan and he wants unlimited voice and text, like some of the other new entrants are talking about, it's $40. The difference is we have that in five cities across Canada, domestic and international roaming. We've got all the newest handsets. So incredible value. Um, when we talk about some of the, the, the total value of the All We Show plan, so comparisons. <laughs> There are so many price plans out there. Doing a true comparison is next to impossible, um, but we'll just pick on a few of them. So um, Rogers Discount Brand, Fido. If you wanted to get uh, their biggest package, it's 4,000 minutes, that's $60. Unlimited calling across Canada is another $20. Missed call alert, the call control is another $10. Voicemail, another $10. Fido to Fido calling, another $10. You're looking at 100 to 110, $120 for what we've got for 45. When I was talking about putting the value in, we put all of the value, all of the simplicity into the plans we've got. We'll go down to the data, we've got four data packages. So both our research, talking to customers and also um, research in motion, their research says a lot of customers actually aren't using email, they're just using instant messaging. So we have a $10 social plan that includes instant messaging and Facebook access on the BlackBerry plans. For both Blackberries and all of our smartphones, and Ken went through the lineup of the smartphones we're launching with, it's $35 for unlimited data. Now, there is nothing comparable to that in, in Canada, really. But if you look at the US, if you wanted to take this plan plus the $35, so for $80, you have unlimited voice, unlimited text, Canada-wide LD, win-to-win -win calling, and unlimited data for $80. In the US, those plans are 100 and that's US. Nothing comparable in Canada. And as Ken was saying, we also have a, a laptop um, plan, so for $55 a month. 
Now on our plans, and this isn't fine print, it's actually right here, um, there's about two to three percent of the customers that will max out the network. That's cool, we want to use the network, that's great. At peak times, we're going to manage that. So if customers are using over five gigs, which is a whole lot of data, we'll actually manage the traffic. It's not a cap, we'll just slow it down and manage it if we need to. So it's still unlimited, they have unlimited access, but over five gigs, we'll slow it down. Five gigs in this market, if you look at a cap, five gig plan, it's $85. We've got it for 55 okay? So the whole bunch of price points, like I said, I'm sure you guys will ask these questions. The um, bottom line when it comes to the pricing is there is nothing comparable to this in Canada today. Yeah, thank you. Chris, thank Tony. you. So we, uh, we only have a couple things left to do. First, let's light up Wind Mobile. Let's turn the network on. Down in front, down in front. Ah, brave young architects of change. We did our hats to you for speaking out against being scammed, posed, but otherwise bamboozled. Your words shall be on in our hearts and in our phone plans. All I said was I hate phone contracts, and here I am. People for freedom. I just asked the prepaid customers to be treated better. Equality. Equality for all, she cried. Actually, I didn't cry, I tested. We've been gouged for too long. Give us real unlimited plans. Unlimited with infinity and pets. These ideas. Our ideas. The bond and wind mobile. Are testament to the truth that conversations can only make things better. I'd like to uh, open the first Win Mobile store, uh, introduce our store manager, uh, Alex, and bring in our first customer. So Chris is a member of our, has been a member of our online community, an active member, and uh, thanks a lot for coming in. <laughs> Thank you. First customer. I know. I'm so excited. Start of a long road. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. <laughs> a long Thank time you for your support. Long time. I've been waiting for a long time. So, it's about, it's about time. <laughs> so excited. So excited. How did you choose him as your first customer? <laughs> Uh, well, you're your active. First, you're your first. Yeah, <laughs> like you could have been your first. <laughs> we, had, we had a few active uh, members of the community that we had, we had, that we uh, we could draw on, and uh, Chris had, had uh, contributed a lot to the uh, to the whole website, and to uh, he created also a uh, a Facebook that uh, our first Facebook site uh, on his own that uh, really garnered a whole bunch of, of uh, discussion in our community and and uh, and separately. So. Um, I was with uh, Fido, and it was actually a prepaid account that I've been using for a year. And as far as pages go, for a year, waiting for a new company to arrive. So I've been waiting for a long time, and I knew it was going to happen. It's just a matter of when. So, uh, Thanks for your patience. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations. <laughs> Can we get more to the Yeah, thank you. Great jacket here. What phone did you get? The HTC Maple. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. We'll uh, do a Q and A now for a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, thank you for your business. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Please, uh, we'll do a Q and A. Myself, Ken, or Chris are happy to answer any of your questions. So, just wondering what you make of the table worker and communication unions. Um, threat of legal action um, against your company. 
Uh, we don't think there's anything uh, legitimate about that. Uh, we've created already uh, almost a thousand jobs. We're going to keep building our company uh, across the country. We've been operating here now for 10 years. Uh, and we're, we're looking forward to giving Canadians the first real competitive choice, the first legitimate choice in wireless in almost 10 years. What are your hiring plans going forward? Um, well, we, uh, our big, a big focus right now is expanding our footprint. So uh, we are continuing to uh, hire out in, um, we'll be looking in Ottawa, in Edmonton, uh, and in Vancouver. Uh, Calgary also, we're, we're uh, hiring up right now. Um, and we continue to build our own core team here uh, because there's a lot of work to do to build this network nationally. So uh, we're, you know, our, I think our, uh, our total headcount should, it will definitely rise beyond 1,000 uh, this year. Uh, we're just under 800 right now. What sort of interest are you seeing from uh, business customers? Like, is it fair to say that uh, your initial customers will be mostly consumer? Um, yeah, our, our initial target is definitely the consumer customer. The business customer, the large corporations are asking for a, a little bit of a different proposition. We haven't built up a direct sales force, uh, but I can see, and we've already gotten incredible interest from small, medium-sized, even large businesses who are looking at these propositions and who are saying, hey, that sounds better than even a corporate plan. So our stores are here and we're welcoming anybody. Huge, huge interest. I mean, we already have uh, in our OneConnect brand uh, over 5,000 uh, small business customers and you know we're trying to sell them uh, fixed lines and internet and all they're asking about is when can I get my wind wireless phone so uh, I mean you know the internet uh, plans uh, the, the BlackBerry plans for business are so extensive to me comments we're going to rectify that any plans to launch an iPhone an iPhone Chris you talked about this before yeah no so we are a GSM network and the iPhone is GSM so there's some confusion there but we're AWS which is just like a different radio frequency of that GSM Manufacturers are starting to make them that. We would love to have the iPhone. We haven't had any discussions with them yet, but.